22 just coming from the tattoo shop and just got a new tattoo I got my best friend's name well her nickname that I gave her um look it says faith love the lifeline going through the heart but anyway yeah I just got my microdermal piercing taken out if anyone is thinking about getting microdermal piercings, I will tell you, I don't think it's the wisest decision. Um, I had two of them. I actually had one in my chest right here. I took it out myself right here. I have a little scar now. But I took it out myself, which was stupid, but whatever. It started rejecting, and, like... I just had to get it taken out because it started rejecting. My other one was on my back and it started to get dark around it. So I'm like, something's not right. So I went to the guy and he was like, it's infected. I have a lot of piercings and usually my piercings do not get infected. I had my microdermal piercing for a year, a year and some change. My cat keeps like bumping my phone. <laughs> Everyone say hi to Boots. <laughs> yeah, so if you're thinking about getting it, I would say no. It's not going to last that long because those piercings are really sensitive. If you get it, if you bump it, it can start to reject like because it's getting moved out of place. Like I just think it's not a wise decision to get them. Like I thought they're so pretty. They are so pretty to have but mm, Michael Delma piercings mm, I don't I don't think that would be the wisest decision to get it because most likely they're gonna reject and you're gonna have to get it taken out me just getting it taken out I and actually it's expensive to get them taken out but the guy I cuz I got a tattoo the guy he um he took mine out for free so that was good mm, no type of numbing pain no type of numbing anything just he had to cut it out. You, don't. <laughs> don't get Michael Dermal piercings. I just... I'm, I'm a fan of them, but also it's really not worth it in the end because you're probably going to end up with a scar when you get it taken out or it's just... It's not worth it. I mean, it is pretty for the time being, but no. No. That's my message to you two. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm not trying to scare anybody, like, to each his own, but I would just say microdermal piercings. I'm not going to get another one. And I, I kept it clean. I kept my, my piercings clean. I have a lot of piercings. I keep them clean, but those, it's just like, it's not like a normal piercing where you could just unscrew the ball and take it out. It's like permanently in your skin. So it's, it's different. Like, your body is going to react to it. And once it starts to reject, it starts to try to push itself out your body, out your body. Like it's just, I would say, don't get it. Well, for the year that I've had mine, I enjoyed it. I thought it was cute. I had the little chest one right here, and then I had one on my back, like on my lower back. Very cute, very cute. It was like a little diamond and stuff, but I had to get it taken out. Can't. I just, well, I mean, everyone's going to make their own type of, like, everyone's going to, everyone has their own opinion about it, but if I had to, if somebody asked me to get, if they was going to get a microdermal piercing, I would say, don't get it. Like, if you're going to get a piercing, get a regular one. Don't get a microdermal piercing, because it's just, it's, in the end, you're not going to be happy with the results, because you're going to have to get it taken out, or or something like you bump it a few times a few times you could bump it once and it could start rejecting or anything like it could be anything but yeah I just want to say that because that experience that I just had of getting it taken out was not a good one it was more painful than getting the microdermal done which is crazy but whatever I'm just happy that it's out and I enjoyed it while it lasted but not anymore. 
So I'm microdermal piercing free <coughs> for now. Yeah, so peace out, YouTube.